Welcome to probably our last episode, at least for a while, on Intel's Thunderbolt technology. Remember, as a refresher, Thunderbolt is a 10 gigabit per second external connection that runs off a Thunderbolt cable on a Thunderbolt-enabled motherboard to a Thunderbolt-enabled device. You can daisy chain it, you can connect it to storage devices, even things like external graphics cards, as well as DisplayPort monitors. It is extremely versatile, it's extremely fast. We've talked about it before though, we've shown two usage scenarios with Thunderbolt in the past. One was with a single external hard drive where we didn't really see the benefit. That 10 gigabit per second connection didn't get to stretch its legs. We've also shown it with a dual SSD RAID enclosure, which is kind of unrealistic and most people won't be using that. Today's demo on the DZ77RE75K board from Intel is going to be using the MyBook Thunderbolt Duo. So this is an external Thunderbolt exter external drive solution from Western Digital that uses two drives in either RAID 0 or RAID 1, and we're going to be using RAID 0, to really sh let us show you the performance that Thunderbolt is capable of when you start putting drives together. <laughs> Now the Intel board that we're showing off today, the DZ77RE75K, is about more than just Thunderbolt. Yes, this is Intel's Thunderbolt ready board, which means it is a Z77 board with support for LGA 1155 processors, that is Core i3s, i5s, and i7s. It does support the onboard video features, which means you can have your dedicated graphics card running, which you can see we have. You can have your integrated graphics running, which is needed for Thunderbolt, and you can do it at the same time. So you use your dedicated graphics for games and you use your integrated graphics for running your Thunderbolt cable as well as running things like uh, transcoding video using specific applications that work for that. Fully featured board so it's got beefy PWM with good cooling, it's got support for SLI or Crossfire with dual PCIe 16x slots that run at 8x mode, PCIe 3 using a latest gen processor, dual channel, ouch, dual channel memory which is pretty much the usual for an 1155 board and a bunch of other cool gaming enthusiasty stuff as well including onboard power and reset switches as well as indicators for how many power phases are being used and two different kinds of post indicators one of them is an LED uh, code that shows you sort of approximately what's wrong and the other one is a series of LEDs that light up as the board goes through post so if you if it for whatever reason stalls at any of those points you can see what ended up being the problem got a full complement of I.O. including up to 8 USB 3.0 ports, 10.1 audio out, and dual Intel Gigabit LAN with a BIOS recovery switch on the back of the board in conveniently placed this location and stuff. And I forgot, the board actually also includes a mouse pad, a wireless Bluetooth module, as well as a front 3.5 inch external USB 3 bay device, so if your case doesn't have front USB 3 natively, you'll still be able to use it. When it comes to the results, I want to show you guys a couple of different scenarios. So, to compare against a single drive solution, we tested the Seagate GoFlex for Mac single drive Thunderbolt drive. We also tested the MyBook Thunderbolt Duo as a dual drive solution. However, it should be noted that the MyBook Thunderbolt Duo uses two 5400 RPM drives and the Seagate solution uses a single 7200 RPM drive. So what we discovered in the CrystalMark results, here this is actually a different thing, don't worry about that. What we discovered in the CrystalMark results is that we went from, let's look at sequential reads and writes from around 170 megabytes per second reads and writes to only about 230 megabytes per second reads and writes with the dual drive RAID 0 solution. So we looked at that and we went, well, okay, that's not really stretching Thunderbolt even remotely. So we decided, okay, let's get more drives and add them to our solution. So we actually threw this together when we realized that we weren't going to be able to see much of a difference to show that we are nowhere near the, the data limits of Thunderbolt and you can use it in many different ways. So we took these three drives in these two separate enclosures, daisy chained them together and ran the whole thing as one large RAID 0 volume. So check this out. We've got a 5.45 
terabyte RAID 0 that is capable of reading and writing at 350 megabytes per second. Now there's no reason with the ability to daisy chain up to six devices that we couldn't continue to daisy chain drives to get as much performance as we need. Remember 10 gigabit per second is about one gigabyte per second. It's actually, I think it's a little less or a little more. I can't remember. It's eight, not 10, but that's usually the rough conversion that I do. So we could, we could add enough, I mean, we could do multiple MyBook Thunderbolt duos and just daisy chain them together to get uber, uber performance out of a massive external drive. And using software RAID, you're not only limited to RAID 0 striping, you can also do spanning, you can do mirroring, and you can mix and match it the way that you see fit. So it's an extremely versatile external storage solution. Now we've got Addo running right now in the background. Uh, I haven't seen these results yet, so I don't know how they're going to compare, but I, there's not much unexpected here. So reads and writes peaking at around 375 megabytes per second for our ideal. That is exactly the sector size of the drives size of 4096 and then around 300 megabytes per second for everything else. And when we compare that to our dual drive solution as well as our single drive solution. So here we go. This is at a Q depth of four. So there's our single drive where we're peaking at around 190 megabytes per second. You guys can just sort of take my word for it. Don't let Slick move around. Um, and then around 225 megabytes per second for two drives. You can see it scales extremely well even when you daisy chain them up. So thank you for checking out this episode on Intel's Thunderbolt technology. And I, you know what? I guess we should show you guys within. So you right click computer, you go to manage, you go to disk management. And all you have to do in order to create one of these volumes is you right click on one of the disks that you're going to include. You create a new span, striped, mirrored, or RAID 5 volume. In this case, we created a new striped volume. All we had to do was add the three disks. So you can see this is a three terabyte drive, so we're only using two terabytes of it. And the other two are two terabyte drives. And these are all part of the Thunder T colon slash disk drive. From within here, you can do all of the software configuration you need right within Windows. It's that easy. So I hope you guys have learned something today. Thank you for checking out this follow-up episode on daisy chaining Thunderbolt storage devices and configuring them in RAID configs to get extreme performance out of relatively inexpensive solutions compared to that SSD one that we looked at before. And don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more videos like this from your favorite online retailer, NCIX.com.